Most resins are tested on animals. We worked really hard to not do that. It's a record from Art Resin. I am joined today by Teddy, my dog. We are going to talk to you about testing on animals. Did you know that most resins are tested on animals? In many countries around the world, Canada included, the standard is to test on animals, namely rabbits. But since I don't have a rabbit, I thought I would just show you any live animal so you can just put into context what exactly it's saying. Testing on animals is exactly how it sounds. You take a live animal, you put your product on them with resins that usually is the eye, then you record what happens. Did that product melt that rabbit's eye or not? I'm gonna demonstrate in a way what exactly this means. Take your hardener, it's always the hardener that's in question, take a live animal and you would pour this in their eye. And that is what the standard calls for. If this is cringy to you, good. It should be cringy. The whole standard itself is disgusting. It's immoral, it's unethical. It's so alarming to me that no one has changed these standards yet. And I guess that's part of the reason why I want to make this video. I want to tell you, however, that art resin was not tested on live animals. We worked really hard to not do that, not compromise our ethics. We are animal lovers to the core. I don't think I'd be living myself if I knew that that's what we did. We found a way around the testing in a very acceptable way. I'm very happy to tell you that art resin was not deemed corrosive. It's a big victory for us, and I want you to know that. Art resin being deemed non-corrosive means that if the art resin would get on your skin, it wouldn't hurt you. It would not melt your skin off, certainly not. That's what corrosive means. I just wanted to let you know that when you buy art resin, you are buying a product made by people that care, people that are artists themselves. We want to do good in the world and we want art resin to be part of the solution, not part of the problem.